Now, the way we're going to position this on this back block, on the white block, you have your four seams. And there's a reason for those. One thing, it's hard to cut a block that big and be accurate. But the other one is to give us some markers. We're going to center this where the line between the blue and the yellow on either side is even with the seam. And the blue and yellow on the top and the bottom is even with the seam. And that way we know we've got it centered. And the way, once I get it in place, I'm going to take a pen every so often on each yellow and pin it in place. And I'll do that all the way around. Then I will come back and even in and put a pin on the end of each one of these, making sure that I keep it spread out really nice. Then we're going to go to the machine and we're going to do the same thing we did before along the edges of each petal. We're going to do that blanket stitch and gently applique that in. We have trimmed out and it makes this block a lot lighter. When we layer it with the batting and the backing, it's going to look better. The next step in constructing our quilt, we have these squares right here ready. We have got to cut the lattice work that goes between them. Now this is a four and a half inch strip, which will be a finished four inch wide strip. And it's going to be 17 and a half inches long because this is a finished 17 inch block. So we want to cut this four and a half inches wide and 17 and a half inches long. I've already squared up my material and this is my four and a half inch strip. Now what we're going to do, because 17 is longer than any ruler I've got, we need a 17 and a half inch strip. So I'm going to use my cutting board lines this only this one time. And I'm going to line these two strips up with a line on the cutting board and even with the zero on the left. Now I will find the 17 and a half inch line here, which comes right down here. As long as I keep my half inch lines on the same line, I'm good. So 17 and a half. And we just cut two of them. Now we're going to take our blocks and on the bottom of each block we're going to attach one of these lattice works. We will do this to every block in the quilt and then at the very end we will go to the top of that row and put that last one on the other end of the block. We have all three of our strips set together now. We still have to make our lattice work to go in between these sets. We will need a total of 16 four and a half by 17 and a half inch strips and 25 squares that are four and a half by four and a half to be our little set stones here. So we'll cut those and get those connected into long pieces and then piece this quilt together and get it done. I've made my strip that goes between the two Dresden plate strips. You can hardly see it here, but it's in place. I have my square corner post that will line up with these two seams between each one of these plate squares. So I'll start at the top and go all the way to the bottom until I get this connected to this side. Then I will turn it over and connect this one onto here. We will put one of these between each one of these sets until we get the entire cup top together. I've completed the center of my quilt. I have all of my blocks together with the lattice work. All of my seams crossed in a perfect T where I've joined my blocks. Now I'm ready for my borders and I've decided on this quilt to go with one solid yellow border to bring out some color in the quilt. So I measured from the left side to the right side two times to make sure it was right and wrote it down and came up with a number. I then pieced together enough strips six inch strip of this yellow material to make a piece long enough to measure from. So I measured my first border and cut it and I'm going to attach it to the top. I just put it over here so that I can see how it looks next to the quilt. I'll get my top and bottom borders on now and then I will measure from the top and bottom and get that measurement and that will be the size of my left and right borders. So we'll get those borders on now. Our quilt top is complete. We have all of our dress and plates together with the lattice work and our border on. I've decided to go with the yellow border to bring out the dress and plates and make it a little more springtime and colorful. Until I see you again, happy quilting!